In this case, we have selected the blue number 2 flexi flange fiber post to restore this cuspid tooth. We remove the gutta percha and create 100% of the length of the post hole and 90% of the width of the post hole with an EDS blue color coded Gates Glidden drill. Always cut wet with any EDS drill or reamer. Next, the primary reamer for the blue number 2 fiber post is used. We always cut wet. The primary reamer is used until the shoulder contacts the coronal dentin and cannot go any deeper. Try to limit the number of entries into the canal to one or two. Since the post depends on a precision fit, we do not want to widen the canal unnecessarily. The blue countersink drill is now used to make the preparation for the countersink and second tier in one operation. Always cut wet. It is also easier to use the smaller countersinks first Go in sequence and end with the countersink for the post size you are using. Using the blue countersink drill, cut into the coronal dentin until the area on the drill that starts to taper is flush with the coronal dentin, a depth of approximately 1 mm. To bond the post to the dentin, we flush the canal for one minute with Essential Dental Systems 17% EDTA in water. The EDTA removes the smear layer and micro etches the dentin to facilitate the bonding of Essential Dental Systems self-curing FlexiFlow reinforced composite cement to the dentin. With the canal still wet with 17% EDTA, we tap the canal walls to make the grooves for the threads of the fiber post. The threads of the FlexiFlange fiber post add a level of macro retention that dramatically increases the clinical overall retention of the post in the root. The split tap is threaded into the root until the shoulder of the tap seats in the bottom of the preparation. If resistance is met during tapping, the tap can be backed off a quarter to a half a turn. This will remove the debris into the split and make the completion of the tapping procedure go more easily. If the post hole is too short, thread the tap in as far as it will go. Once the threads are created, the tap is removed from the root. The number two flexi flange fiber is now placed into the wrench. The post is then trial seated into the root without cement. If the flange does not fully seat into the countersink preparation, that is flush with the coronal dentin, the post must be removed and the apical end of the post must be cut until the flange will seat completely within the countersink preparation. Once you see that the flange seats completely, the post is removed from the root. If the flange does not fully seat into the countersink preparation, that is, flush with the coronal dentin, the post must be removed and the apical end of the post must be cut until the flange will seat completely within the countersink preparation. Once you see that the flange seats completely, the post is removed from the root. The root has been etched, threaded, and the post has been trial seated to ensure proper fit and placement. We are now ready to cement the post in the root. The canal is dried with air or paper points. Next, we use FlexiFlow Auto E to cement the post. FlexiFlow Auto E is a self curing reinforced composite cement. We place the micro tip down the canal and express the cement out until the canal and the countersink preparation are filled with cement. The post is now threaded into the canal until the flange is flush into the countersink preparation and the bottom of the flange hits the bottom of the preparation. You will feel the post threading in lightly and then it will come to a complete stop. Once the post is fully seated, remove the wrench by pulling it straight off of the post. Excess cement can now be removed before the cement sets. Because we are using dual cured Tycor Auto E for the core material, we recommend using a multi-step bonding agent. First we etch the coronal surface with 37.5% phosphoric acid for 20 seconds and then wash it off with water. We then mix the components of the bonding agent and apply the mixture to the coronal root surface. We are using a self-curing bonding agent so we will let it cure on the root surface. We then express dual cured Tycor Auto E through a small mixing tip onto and around the post. Once the post is covered by the Tycor, we then fill up the appropriate size clear core form with more Tycor. The core form is placed over the post and the excess material is removed. We cure for approximately 40 seconds per 4 mm increment of material. Add a little extra time since some of the light is absorbed by the clear core form. The core form is then removed and the core can be prepared to its final shape. 